Hello, everybody. My name is Mrs. Shaw, and I am here to talk about mammals. You see my shirt? Can you see it? I know the screen is small. This animal is called a red panda. Pretty cool. I am going to start by reading facts about animals. Let's see. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I see a mother elephant and her baby elephant that is adorable. All right, mammals. I see bear, lion, a whale, and people. Mammals are warm blooded. That means we can regulate our body temperatures and keep ourselves warm and help cool ourselves down. Right now, take your hands, put them on your neck. Not too hot, not too tight, just on the sides. Do you feel the warmth coming off? Yeah, you are warm blooded. Your body can produce heat. Most animals are born alive. We're gonna find out um, how some animals are born in pouches as well. They live on land and in water. They drink milk from their mother. They have a backbone. If you take your hand, you can feel your spine going from the bottom of your back all the way to the top of your back. So that is what a spine, or that's what your backbone is. So mammals have a backbone. They also have hair or fur. Do you have hair or fur? Yeah, so you are a mammal. Let's take a look at some different kinds of mammals. Right here you see an elephant. I'm gonna be talking about the habitat, diet, young, and a fun fact. The habitat is where something lives. Where do you live? In a house or in an apartment. The habitat of where the animal lives, or the habitat is where the animal lives and an elephant lives in the grasslands or woodlands. Their diet is what they eat. What do you eat? Different kinds of foods. So the diet of the elephant is leaves, grass, and tree bark. Their young are called a calf. They weigh 250 pounds when they are born. That is more than two Mrs. Shaw's put together. Fun fact, their tusks are actually teeth used to dig and for protection. An adult's tooth is as big as a brick. Whale. Whale's habitat is the ocean near the coastlines. That means they don't live too close to the shore, but they don't live too far out. They stay kind of, um, near the coastline. Their diet, they eat shrimp, krill, plankton, and fish. Their young are called calves. The calves swim close to their mothers and they grow until they are 10 years old. Do you keep growing after 10 years? Yes, people grow past 10 years, but a whale stops growing at around 10 years old. Fun fact, um, the whales make a sound that sounds like a song. That's how they communicate to one another under the water. They don't talk, they use um, a sound. And they are as big as a school bus. So imagine the school bus, now think of a whale, that's how big they are. People, habitat, house. Our food or diet, mainly plants and animals, young. Yeah. A young is called a baby. They grow inside their mother for nine months. And they stay with their parents until they're around 18 years old. Fun fact, everyone is different and unique. Only identical twins look alike. So you are a mammal. Bear, habitat, forests, open fields, and mountains. Diet, insects, mammals, fish, and berries. So they need a lot of different things. Their young are called cubs. They're born two at a time, except this one looks like she had three. And they stay with their mother until they are two years old. <laughs> Could you imagine if you only stayed with your mom until you were two? That's still a little baby or a toddler and with humans, but with bears, they're mostly grown by the time they're two. Fun fact, they hibernate for up to six months. You should remember what hibernate means from the story we read at the beginning of the year called Bear Snores On. They go into a deep sleep during the winter time or cold months. And they are powerful diggers. Now, 
Bears are also very dangerous, so you should never approach a bear. Lion. Habitat, desert, grasslands. Their diet, large mammals such as zebras and wildebeests. Their young are called cubs. They're born with spots that disappear as they get older. You probably noticed that on the Lion King movie. Fun fact. Females do most of the hunting for the lion pride. So a family of lions is called a pride. And the females or the girl lions are the hunters. Their roar can be heard for five miles. It's a loud roar. Dolphin. Did you know a dolphin was a mammal? The dolphin habitat is the ocean. Their diet is fish, squid, and sometimes sea lions. Their young are called calves. They stay with their mother until they are six years old. Fun fact, they breathe through a blowhole at the top of their head, so they have to, they can't breathe underwater like fish can. They need to breathe oxygen like we do. So they, once they run out of, um, once they're not able to hold their breath anymore, they surface and they breathe out of their blowhole. They communicate through clicks and whistles. So like the whale makes their sound to communicate, or talk to one another, dolphins use clicks and whistles. Sea lion, habitat, in the sea, close to land. So they live on the land and when they go to hunt, they go into the sea or the ocean. Their diet is fish, squid, and octopus. The young are called a pup. They learn to hunt from their mother. They grow inside their mother for about 12 months. That's three more months than human babies take to grow inside their mother. Fun fact. All sea lions are endangered. That's not a very fun fact. That's sad. We need to help protect them so their species can um, grow bigger. They can hold their breath for 20 minutes. I think I can only hold my breath for one or two minutes, but they, the sea lion can hold their breath for 20 minutes. That's good if they are catching all their meals from the water. Ooh, a platypus. Have you ever seen a platypus before? It looks like it has a duck bill webbed feet and its tail kind of looks like a beaver tail, huh? Habitat, they live in rivers and lakes. Their diet is larva, that's um, like baby insects, shellfish, worms, and insects. The young hatch from eggs. They're born blind, blind means you can't see, and with no hair. Fun fact, they store fat in their tails. Males, can secrete venom from their foot. So on the back of their foot, they have like a, a little hook that has venom in it, so they are poisonous, or venomous, I should say. Bats, that bat is cute. Habitat, they live in caves, hollow trees, or under bridges. Their diet is insects, fruit, nectar, small mammals, and blood. Young. The young are called pups and they're cared for by their mother. Fun fact, they are nocturnal. That means they sleep during the day and they come out at night. They use echolocation. So that's a very high pitched sound that they make. And it, we learned that sound is vibrations that um, go through the air and bounce off of things. And that's how we hear. They use that to find where bugs are flying. They send their echolocation out. The bugs sound from their winds bounce off and then the bats find the bugs and they eat them. Because I don't think bats can see very well. Horse. Habitat, farm or western deserts. Diet, grass and grains. Young. The young can run shortly after being born. Can human babies run shortly after being born? No, it takes them about a year or two to start walking and then eventually they'll start being able to run. The young are called foals. They grow for 11 months in their mother. So that's two months longer than a human baby. Fun fact, they have the biggest eyes of any land mammal and they can sleep standing up. We're gonna move on to our story. We are still here. Animal classifications, mammals. Let me move this out of the way real quick so I can read. Meet the mammals. Dogs, squirrels, sheep, and elephants are all mammals. 
Mammals are animals that have hair on their bodies and that feed their babies with milk from their mother. Dogs and humans have lots of hair, so they are classified as mammals. Two lambs feed on milk, which they suck from their mother's sheep. So there's the mother sheep and her baby lambs. Scientists sort living things into groups. This is called classification. Each group of living things is different from other groups in particular ways. Body shape. Mammals are part of a bigger group called vertebrates. This group also includes, includes reptiles and birds. All vertebrates have a backbone and a hard skeleton inside their bodies. The skeleton, skeleton gives their body shape. Giraffes have the longest legs and neck of any mammal. So remember, I told you to put your hands on your back, you could feel your spine. And inside your body, you have bones. So you are a vertebrate. Bones and wings, legs. Bats are the only mammals that have wings. Did you know a bat was a mammal? Most mammals have four legs or two legs and two arms. Bats are mammals, but they have two legs and two wings. The wings are made of long, thin finger bones with skin stretched between them. Hair and fur. A mammal has hair that grows from its skin. Hair protects the skin and helps to keep the mammal warm. Some mammals, such as wolves, have thick hair. Others, such as elephants, only have a few hairs. A camel's hair protects its skin from the hot sun. I bet they also have really long eyelashes that act like sunglasses, maybe, because they're in the sun all the time. And if it didn't have all this hair protecting it, what would happen? They would get sunburn. Ouch. So I'm glad they have the hair to protect them. Mammals are warm-blooded, which means that they can make heat using the energy from food. Blood carries the heat all around their bodies. A polar bear lives in the icy Arctic, and its thick hair helps keep it warm. If you do the male experiment, you will learn um, what else keeps Arctic animals warm. Cats. Mammals are classified into smaller groups and families. The cat family includes big cats such as lions, cheetahs, and tigers, as well as smaller pet cats. All cats look similar. For example, they have long backs and most have long tails. A cheetah bends its long back as it runs. So it looks similar to a house cat, but they're also different in some ways. Like a cheetah has longer legs, and a long tail to help it balance when it's running. Cats have sharp claws and sharp teeth. They need them because they are carnivores. Can you say that word, carnivore? Carnivores eat meat from other animals. It's easy to see that a lynx is a kind of cat or a type of cat. Sea mammals. Sea mammals, including seals, dolphins, and whales, live in the sea. Seals have thick fur, but most sea mammals, such as walruses and whales, have almost no hair. Seals spend some time on land, but they hunt for food in the sea. It's a cute little seal. So he lives on the land and then he goes into the water to hunt for his food. The blue whale is the largest animal that has ever lived. Instead of legs and arms, sea mammals have flippers, which they use to swim. Unlike fish, sea mammals cannot breathe in the water. They have to come to the surface to breathe. Remember, they can hold their breath for a long time, but they need to come to the top of the water and breathe on the air. Giving birth. Instead of laying eggs, almost all mammals give birth to babies. The babies are small, but have the same body shape as their parents. Some mammals have several babies at a time. Others have one or two. This dog had six puppies, which all look like her. Humans normally have one baby, but sometimes they have twins or more, but most of the time one. All mammal mothers make milk in special parts of their body called mammary glands. Babies feed on their mother's milk until they are old enough to eat other food. An elephant usually has one baby calf at a time. Marsupials, that's a fun word, let's say it again. Marsupials. 
Kangaroos and koalas are both marsupials. Female marsupials have a special pouch. A baby marsupial is born when it is still tiny and not fully formed. It crawls into its mother's pouch where it feeds on milk and grows bigger. So that's what makes marsupials a little bit different than other animals. Their baby, instead of being born alive when it's still um, tiny and not fully formed, it crawls into the mother's pouch and then grows from there. A kangaroo baby is safe in its mother's pouch. Young koalas stay close to their mothers even after they have left the pouch. A baby marsupial is called a joey. When the joey is big enough, it leaves the pouch and explores the world. So a baby kangaroo is called a joey and a baby koala is called a joey and they both start in the mother's pouch. Caring for young. Mammals take care of their young until they are old enough to look after themselves. Baby, mam baby mammals stay close to their mothers who try to keep them safe from predators. Predators are things that might wanna hurt them. Like for a deer, it might be a coyote or a wolf. Newborn deer can stand and walk when they are only a few hours old. Baby mammals learn many skills from their mothers. For example, tiger cubs learn how to hunt for food. A tiger cub practices stalking. Do you know what that means? It moves forward slowly, then pounces. If you have a cat, I bet you've seen your cat do that before. My dog even does that with squirrels outside. It's kind of silly. She never catches them. Rodents. Mice, hamster, hamsters, squirrels, and prairie dogs all belong to a group of mammals called rodents. Many female rodents have lots of babies at the same time. A group of babies is called a litter. All rodents have four large front teeth and gnaw on their food. To gnaw means to take many little bites. We chew with our back teeth normally. They gnaw. Oh my goodness. A house mouse can have many litters of babies every year, so this must be a house mouse. Baby rodents can grow up fast. A house mouse, a house mouse starts to have her own babies when she's only two months old. She may produce 150 babies in a year. That's so many babies. Herds and packs. Mammals that feed on plants, such as zebras and buffalo, live in large group called herds. Living in a group makes it easier for these animals to stay safe from predators. Some mammal predators hunt together in groups called packs. These, gre these zebras watch out for danger as they graze on the grass. Prairie dogs leave their underground homes to feed. Smaller mammals, such as rodents and rabbits, burrow under the ground. For example, prairie dogs live together in huge underground towns. Huh, so instead of living above ground like humans and having towns, they live underground in their towns. Monkeys and apes. Monkeys, lemurs, and apes belong to a group of mammals called primates. Monkeys mostly live high among the trees. They leap from branch to branch and tree to tree. Some monkeys use their tail like an extra arm or leg to grip onto a branch. So he's using his tail and his feet. Apes include humans, so other apes are more like us than other animals. Apes have no tail and can stand on their two back legs. A chimpanzee uses a rock as a tool to crack open nuts. So he's using this rock to crack a nut open. One amazing mammal. Humans are perhaps the most amazing mammal. Humans can speak, read, and write. They can compose music and invent complicated machines. They can discuss ideas and plan for the future. Human children take many years to grow up because they have so much to learn. Humans understand the world better than any other animal. Can we use that understanding to make the world a better place for all animals to live in? We can. Humans love and care for other animals. This girl cares for her pet cat. Do you have a pet? The end. Now let me move this out of the way again. All right. Now we're going to do a sort, mammal sort. Mammals and not mammals. So I'm going to tell you that our 
point to the picture and you're going to give me a thumbs up if it's a mammal, thumbs down if it's not. Then we're going to check our answers once we're all done with all of them. Is a human an animal? What about this little newt? Does a newt have fur? Is it, does it drink milk from its mother? What about a penguin? Is a penguin a mammal? Does it have fur? I think a penguin has feathers. What about a dolphin? What about a lion? Does a lion have fur? A cricket? A cat? And a butterfly? Let's check our answers. A human is a mammal. You're right. We are warm-blooded, we are vertebrate. A newt is not a mammal. A penguin is also not a mammal. That is a bird, they have feathers. A dolphin is a mammal. They're born from their mother and they are warm-blooded. Lion, a lion has fur. They're born from a mother, they drink milk. Grasshopper is an insect. A cat is a mammal. And a butterfly is also an insect. Next, I'm going to tell you some facts. Let me rotate the screen real quick. Here we go. I'm going to read some mammal sentences. If it's true or a fact, you're going to give me a thumbs up. If it's not true or not a fact, you're going to give me a thumbs down. When we're done, we'll check our answers. Mammals breathe through their skin. Thumbs up if it's a fact, thumbs down if it is not. Do we breathe through our skin? Mammal babies drink milk from their moms. Do we drink milk from our mothers when we're babies? Mammals are cold blooded. Think about this when I had you feel your neck. Mammals have hair. Mammals lay eggs. Mammals live on both land and water. Mammals have feathers. Do they? Mammals are born alive. Let's check our answers. Oh, here we go. So the ones that were not fact, mammals breathe through their skin. No, we breathe through our lungs. Mammals are cold blooded. No, we are warm blooded. Remember I had you feel your neck? Mammals lay eggs. That is not true. Mammals are born from their mother. And mammals have feathers. So we have feathers. No, we have hair or fur. Some facts about mammals. Let's see if I can move this up. Mammal babies drink milk from their mothers. Yes, we learned that they drink milk from their moms, their moms produce it, and their mammary gland. Mammals have hair or fur. That's a fact. Mammals live on both land and water. That is a fact. Some um, mammals do live on land and others live in water, like the whale and the dolphin. That's a fact. Mammals are born alive. It's true. All right. Now, along with this information, you are going to go to your teacher's webpage and find these links. You're going to listen to this uh, YouTube video called All About Mammals. You are going to draw a dolphin. I made a video for a, an experiment, so you're going to um, you can watch it and then go to this web page and you can try it on your own. You're going to complete the focus activity that's also linked in your teacher's web on your teacher's web page. And that is all I have for mammals. So I it was good talking to you. And I will talk to you later. Bye.